All right, guys, so this video today is going to be brought to you by the company Wild Wigs. They did send me over their Kinky Curly Brazilian Bob. It is a 360 frontal wig, and this is just what you get in the packaging, which is really nice because you get a bag to store everything in. It does come with the wig cap, some extra combs, and an elastic band, which I did not actually use this time is in the length 14 inches it's 180 percent density i do have a light brown lace color and it comes with two combs on the side a comb in the middle and a comb in the back i did cut the comb out of the middle because i felt like it wasn't needed and you also get a lot of baby hairs so i did go ahead and wash this unit i used my aussie moist shampoo and conditioner and this is what the hair looks like after it is freshly washed and detangled and i also did bleach the knots and the knots took very well the only thing i was concerned about and i'm going to zoom in and show you guys was that one part right there i was like what is going on but when i went back and looked at like some pictures of what it looked like after i tried it on it was right there after i moved the baby hairs out of the way um, but it is an easy cover up um, as far as shedding and tangling goes with this unit i did get a lot of shedding during the wash so i just want you guys to be aware of that it was very easy to detangle because you guys know i like to detangle it with my conditioner and my hands first before i decide to run a comb through it but i still did get a lot of shedding um, i'm going to go ahead and part this unit i am actually going to do a curve part now this is very easy to do you just have to take your time and i'll do a more in-depth tutorial on that but this unit is very easy to to rotate around y'all don't make fun of my mannequin it has been through some things and you will also notice some different backgrounds because i did do these things on different days but um i do like to style my units while they are wet just because i like for it to set and dry and not have to worry about anything and that particular style does last me a long time including the baby hairs without me having to manipulate the wig every day so I'm just going to take my spray bottle and re-wet certain parts on the hair because this hair does dry very quick, especially when you start to manipulate certain areas. And I just want to make sure it's wet before I add my product on. And this hair is very high maintenance with any kinky curly hair because I know every company has a different curl pattern when it comes to kinky curly hair but this one is very high maintenance but i love the outcome of it because it definitely mimics uh, a natural texture so now i'm just going to go in with the garnier fructis i believe this is the buttercream for curly hair now i do not try to use this product all the time because to me it is more heavier than the sleek and shine leave-in conditioner so you do not want to put a lot of this product on your hair because it can come off feeling very greasy but it worked well for this hairstyle um just make sure to evenly distributed through the hair and you want to make sure the hair is wet like i said once again and i'm just going in and just scrunching up um, through the hair and also at the bottom you make me lose. so now i'm just going to go and cut some of the baby hairs down and just kind of style them how i like now i never really know how i want my baby hairs to be if i want it to look natural if i want you know to add a little bit of soups towards the front i just usually freestyle it once i start seeing the hair but i'm just cutting those baby hairs down excuse me my arm was in the way but i don't cut them too short but short enough and i'm just going to go in with my lot of body foam wrap this is my fave as you can tell i need to re-up on a bottle and i'm just going to get to work until i figure out exactly how i want it to be Using the foam wrap provides a softer hole and if you don't like the outcome afterwards, it's just easier to manipulate to me. I usually try not to put gel on my baby hairs or gel on the hairline. You know, maybe if I have it on my head and I need to hurry up and go, I might do it. But I love to use the foam wrap because it's less messier and you don't have to worry about the hair looking hard and unnatural. So I just always take my time. I use a rat tail comb. As you guys can see, I'm combing some of the hairs into place. And then I'm just putting some of the foam wrap at the very top of the hair because it helps control any uh, flyaways. 
So now I'm just going to take this brush and run it through and just kind of get the curl pattern back because I did manipulate some of the hair in the front and it was coming off frizzy and that's the last thing I wanted to do but I just want to put everything into place so that I could let it air dry. This is what the unit looks like now that I am done styling it. That is the part, that is the hairline, and that is what the curl pattern looks like while it is wet. Now you guys know with kinky curly hair, once it dries up, it does get shorter in length. So I'm just gonna take it outside and let it air dry while it is sunny. I did not use an elastic band. I didn't add one on. I'm just going to go ahead and put my wig grip cap on for the video today. And this hair, like I said before, is very big. It is true to density. If you like this hairstyle, but it's just too big for you, definitely go down in density amount, um, depending on how you like your hair to be. I think it looks very pretty, but like I said before, it is very high maintenance. And I'm just gonna go and cut the lace off. I'm gonna be very careful doing this because I don't wanna cut all of the lace. I just wanna keep enough on in case I want to style it in different ways and I want everything to blend all in. As far as these clips go, these clips came in another wig bag and I ended up using them. But I believe you can find these clips on Amazon. I really like these ones because they hold. So now I'm just gonna use some bobby pins and tuck my sides behind my ear and then I'm just going to bobby pin it to the wig grip cap that provides extra security and I also did use my adjustable straps. I'm going to go in now with my Ruby Kisses 3D Creator Palette and go around the hairline and I'm also going to go into the part. The part looks really good. I did not have to do any extra customization to the hairline and I didn't have to do anything extra to the parting space. So I'm just going to make sure everything looks nice and clean and then I want to make sure that um, it looks really natural in the very front. Now I know a lot of people always ask how do you make sure it looks natural for the camera. I take selfies because I want to make sure you can't see the lace when I do decide to take a picture. Now, the lace does not completely go away. If somebody is all up in your head and all up on you, they will probably notice a little bit because the lace is not meant to disappear, but you want to give the illusion that it looks very natural. Now I'm just gonna go in with my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum. And I'm just going to put this throughout the hair, not too much because I do have that buttercream in it, but this will control any frizziness and it getting too big throughout the day. Now I did decide to wear this out for the day and it did poof up a little bit. You will probably have to go over it every couple of days with your water bottle just to reset everything so that it doesn't look too crazy now as far as tangling goes because I did mention shedding already tangling I got a little bit of tangles in the back but with this hair I did not want to put my fingers all up through the hair because I did not want it to get even bigger while I was out let me know what you guys think about this hair and if you are feeling it I will also be coming out with more styling tutorials just to show you guys exactly what I am doing so you can style your wigs at home I will also leave a link in the description area to where you can purchase this wig and browse around from the site and don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my channel turn on your notification button and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys Way too quickly, and I'm not the type of guy to lose control.